Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and welcome to the 12 Crafts of Christmas. I am just going to do 12 different crafts on 12 days of Christmas, just to kind of give you guys an idea. Um, this one is a present, but they don't all have to be presents. Um, I don't know exactly what all I'm doing yet, and I don't know which day this one's going to be on, but I just know that I need to get started on this so that I can post 12 crafts for Christmas. So I purchased some enamel paint, which is what you need to paint on glass. And after it's finished painting, after we'll let it dry between layers, of course, and then um, when it's done with that, I need to... I'm pretty sure I need to bake it in the oven. I don't know, maybe not anymore. I'm not sure, I'll have to look into that. And then I have this clear acrylic coating that you put on after you've baked it. So let's see. Make sure the area is surface, apply room temperature, shake well, test hand spray. It doesn't say anything, so I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. Um, I might just do it just to be safe. But um, this is just a wine glass that I had in my stash. I sometimes purchase them. I think that this came from the dollar store. I'm not positive, but that would be my guess. And for this particular, this is going to be a gift. For this particular one, I'm going to use some brown. I don't know how much I will need, so I'll get out quite a bit. And then I have these paintbrushes that I also purchased at Hobby Lobby and I just need one of these and I think if I used kind of a fat one that would be fine for this and for this particular project I need to paint all of this brown So I'm just painting away. And I have not done this before. I have painted before on stuff, but never, oh, you know what? I shouldn't have gone that high up. One thing that's great about this kind of paint is that it is forgiving. And I do have a piece of damp uh, paper towel over here. So I should be using that instead of my fingers, I suppose. And I want to put an edge on here, and I didn't do that either. I'm just failing. I'm going to use a piece of washi tape to put an edge on here. Actually, I think I'll turn it and start my edge where I have this. If you had like frog tape or painter's tape, you could use that too. I just think washi will be fine and Lord knows I have that handy. And you just want it to be a pretty straight line. I mean, we want it to look decent. I don't want my friend to think a kindergartner made it. So I'll do my best to get it straight. Tish, there we go. And it's probably the brush that's leaving the streaks. And honestly, I don't think that that's a bad look. I think it's kind of cool. I know that I've seen others and they have streaks in them too, so I'm not too worried about that. I'll do another coat too, but it's probably still gonna have streaks.
So Tanya over at Home with Tanya is also doing the 12 crafts of Christmas, but I think she started hers already. I think she was doing hers in November, which I understand because it kind of gives you a chance to make these a little bit, a little longer to do them, I guess. With mine, you'll have to rush out and get it. <laughs> that was my evil plan. Make you guys go out in the Christmas shopping. Not really. But going to the hobby store, Christmas shopping isn't too bad. So I'm just painting down a little bit on the stem. You could be more professional and, and put a ring around that too. But I kind of like the handmade look myself. So this is it so far, and I'm going to let that dry. That's how exciting it is, and then I'll do another coat. So I will be back when this is dry. Okay, so I think that the first coat is dry. Yeah, very nice. Very nice, very nice. And then I'm just going to coat it one more time. That didn't take very long, just so you know, I would say 15 minutes. And it may have been ready a little earlier. I was playing on the computer. <laughs> the paint does stink though, so use it in a ventilated area. I have my window open behind me. It's a little bit chilly tonight, but it's not too bad. I honestly like the crisp fall air, so it's fine for me. And I don't know if I need a third coat or not. We'll see. Ooh, that one took off some of the first coat. Eh, my brush is super stiff. I'm pulling off some of the coat be no, below it. Look at that. I don't want to do that. Come on, you. Things were going so well. <laughs> it's not me, it's you. <laughs> I probably will do a third coat with a softer brush just because I don't like it to be all splotchy. Maybe I'll use a foam brush for the last coat. But it, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Well, some of it does. <laughs> just totally took off the paint. That's so interesting to me. Why are you doing that? Look at this. You see that coming off? It's bizarro. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a little minute. Maybe not quite as long as the first time. I think I'm going to go clean this brush and then I will use a sponge brush or a sponge for the last coat. I think I'll just use this sponge for the last coat of brown. So I'll go clean this brush and I will be back. Okay, so we are going to do a third coat and I'm hoping to help smooth this out a little bit. 
with this third coat. And I'm using just a triangle sponge. And I imagine that this will be enough, but we'll see. And it doesn't have to be completely transparent or opaque, but I want it to be pretty nicely coated. I think a key, like most things, is just to make sure that you let it dry between coats. Here's what it looks like on this side. Kind of looks like a coconut. <laughs> There's a little spot right here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm actually going to clean out my sponge, I think. I have some water here. And I'm going to let that dry, and then we will move to the next step. So I will be back. So it's been about 10 minutes again, and there's a little bit of area right here that looks like it might need a little bit more paint. So I'm just going to carefully just go over that area. You can see the streaks in it, but I don't mind that. I think that's okay. And I think I can go ahead and go on to the next step. And I did read about it, and it does say that you need to cure these so that you can wash them in the dishwasher. But I still don't think I'd do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cure it. I just don't think I'd wash them in the dishwasher. I mean, I would, um, to cure it, it says to put it in the oven at 350 degrees, um, not preheated, just put it in the in the oven and turn the oven on to 350 degrees and let it um, let it bake for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes turn the oven off and let it sit there until it cools and that will make the the paint like permanent I'm just seeing these little areas that look like they could use a little bit more so I'm just kind of sponging it on there okay so the next step I want to I think I'm gonna go ahead and peel this washi off so we'll be real careful I don't want to peel the paint off. In some cases, the paint wants to come a little bit with it, but I think it's going to be okay. You guys can see that. I hope that wasn't all off camera. I'm sorry if it was. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this too, but I thought it would be a cool craft and it would be um, a nice gift. So now that I have that one off, I'm going to leave about a washi space and then I'm going to put another strand of washi tape or another stripe and 
and I'm either going to have to be really careful and not get the brown or I am going to need to wait until it dries entirely and then put some washi on the brown. What I should have done probably is put white down first and then painted over the white. But either way, I would guess I'd have to put some washi on the paint. And I want to be careful of that. So let's see here. That's all right. I didn't use all my brown and I'm not going to need as much white so I'm not going to put a big of, as big of a pile on. And let's see, I think I might sponge this on. And I'm just going to be real careful to butt up against that brown. This paint seems to be a little, <coughs> excuse me, thick, which actually is nice. Makes it easier to work with a little bit to, I mean, at least to butt it up against the brown. It's not runny. I need a drink. <clears throat> oh. Ooh, I don't know what it is, but <coughs> <coughs> I've been getting like frogs in my throat lately. I guess I shouldn't be eating so many frogs, should I? Because of the way this is going on, I probably have way too much white out. I need to be a little more frugal, I guess, with my paint. There's a little spot that's going to be a little lower. Oh well. It will kind of just look like I messed up. Which I guess I did, just not with the white, I messed up with the brown. I don't even know if that's going to need a second coat, but I'll probably give it a second coat. And... I need to paint do you guys know what this is <laughs> now you do it's like a little football. One, two, three, four, five, it says. It's 
So that looks like a football, right? Kind of neat. We're not done yet, so I'm going to just set this down and we'll let this dry for about 10 minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've let that dry for about, I don't know, probably just about five minutes. I'm not very patient. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to give it another little rough coat. Because again, this is really thick. It's very nice. I think it's, I think that's going to be all it needs. If this turns out, I might have to do these for Christmas gifts for other people next year. I don't mean if it turns out. I mean, it's going to turn out. It's cute. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take some green and I turned the, the wine glass upside down I'm just going to start out with a little bit because I don't think I need a ton and I'm going back to my brush and I'm going to brush the bottom of this Okay, we'll let this dry and then I'll be back. Super fun, super easy guys, this is really easy. Okay, so this has been drying for <clears throat> a little while. So that's all good and dry. And I'm just going to give it a second coat. This is a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys like painting, but if you do, I would highly recommend doing this. It's very easy and fun. There's just a little bit right there that's not coating, so let me see if I can get any of this up, and if I can, Well, I guess I just need a little plop more. <laughs> it's kind of doing the same thing where it like pulls up and it does smell bad. I'm going to use the corner of this sponge because that seemed to work well. Okay, so now I'm just going to let that dry, and then I will do some more. But you know what? While that's drying, I think I'm going to coat this just one more time. I don't know if the laces curve or if they're just straight, but I think you can tell that's a football. And you know what? Maybe I'll pull this washi off too if I can. Let's see, where's the start of it? There we 
So there we go. There's the top of the football. And then here's the grass so far. So I'm just going to let that dry for a little bit. And I will be back. Okay, so now this is dry. It's a little tacky right there, but I think it'll be okay to move to the next step. So, so far so good. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't put this on this side too, because if you're looking at it this way, you really can't tell what it is. So I think I just made the executive decision to do that. But first, let me get a smaller brush. Um, maybe this one will work. They're all so hard. But what I'm gonna do is take some of this white paint that is super thick, and I'm going to draw a little line right here. These are supposed to be like the yard lines so God help me. <laughs> and then I do one, two, three, four, and then I do another. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and then I do another line. Then we do the same thing the other way. One, two, three, four. And then another line. And the example has a 10 here and a 20 here. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I might just leave it like this. And then I'll try to go to the other side and match it. And then do one, two, three, four. And then a line. And I think I kind of got those kind of close to each other. So where's my damp? This really hasn't taken that long, guys. I mean, I know that I've paused it a lot, but just so you know, this is still damp. Then we'll go this way. One, two, three, four. And a big one. I wonder if I could use like a paint pin. I don't know if that would be allowed. <laughs> I mean, I don't know football, and I think I would know what this was, so I don't think it's bad without the numbers. Okay, so where is my, here's my this thing. So I can do another one of those things over here.
And then one, two, three, four, five of those things. So that one they kind of go straight and this one they're kind of bent. I don't know which way is right, but I don't think it matters too awfully much. <clears throat> I just want it to be a little smoother. I don't know why it's so harsh. It has to be this paint. I wonder if it's a different brand. It looks like it's the same brand as, oh, maybe it's not. That's gloss enamel. This is gloss enamel in wicker white. Actually, this says durable acrylic paint for glass and ceramics. I don't know. The green one is Americana too, so the white must be a different brand. I wonder if I got any others like that. Oh, it looks like the orange is that way. Well... Looks like the folk art is that way. I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing. At least I know, so now I know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It'll be fine. It's actually way easier than I thought it was going to be. I was a little bit nervous to do this, especially since I had never done it before and to do it as a craft for you guys, but, oh, it's adorable. So I'm going to tie a silver and blue bow on here because this is going to be for the Dallas Cowboys, who my friend Tanya happens to love. So um, I'm going to put some dark chocolate inside and I'm going to send it to her with a bottle of red and a bottle of white from an, uh, a winery here in town. And uh, that's just going to be a little gift for her. So I, um, by the time you guys see this, she should have already gotten it. So I'm not giving any secrets away. That's part of why I don't know which day this is going up yet. But I think it's really cute. And I will... Um, burn, not burn this, but I'll put it in the oven and bake it and do its thing and then I will show you guys the finished product. But so far, this is what we got. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you try this because it really is easier than you think. Okay guys, I'm back with the football wine glass. I think it turned out really cute and I added some sparkle to it because what girl doesn't need some glitter in their life? So I thought this was really pretty. And um, I am going to put some ribbon on it. And I don't have any like royal blue ribbon yet. I'll have to get some. But I do have this like silvery ribbon. I don't know. It might look too wedding like. I had some royal blue wedding or royal blue. Yeah, I don't like this one. Royal blue ribbon and I, it was too thin. So I have this, which is part of our... Stampin' Up. Let me turn it on its side. Okay. 
So I might just leave that ribbon on here for now and then um, my thinking is that I'm going to fill this with some chocolates and send it to my friend. So I think that she will really like it. I hope so, hope so. I'm going to just singe the ends of this ribbon. You just take an, a uh, lighter and just very carefully, like you don't even really have to touch the ends, just get it close and it will melt it. I'm just pushing it up so it'll stay. And there we go, isn't that cute? So I think it turned out fabulously and I think that she will really like it. I hope so. And that is our finished craft. Yay, a painted wine glass. Now, you guys need to try it, and I'd love to see your finished product, too. Thanks so much, and happy holidays. I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much for being a viewer.